Hey all, Trevor here with Red Leaf, and today we're going to be reviewing the Cherry Diesel 14 gram bag one hitter read review from the folks over at The Loud Plug. I'm really excited to see what this overall experience and genetic has on offer. Now, with a total terpene content of 2.86, I'm hoping that we'll find a nice and rich, tasty experience in this half ounce. Now, with that being said, We've got our vaporizer, bong, pipe, and joint to work our way through. Let's get the intro in here. Welcome back, everyone. And as I said in the intro, today we are going to be reviewing the Cherry Diesel 14 gram bag from the folks over at The Loud Plug. I am very excited to see what the overall profile and experience is going to be like on this genetic as well as to see what the format in bud structure and overall sizing is inside this 14 gram bag because from what i can feel it seems like we've got ourselves some very nice dense buds but before i can rip this top portion off and open up the bag we do have a little bit of information on this bag that we need to go over the Cherry Diesel came in at 32% THC, 0.12% CBD. The terpenes came in at 2.86%. Lemonine, linalol, and beta carophylline being the dominant three terpenes. I'm really, really excited to see what this August 24th, 2023 package date is going to provide when we crack open this 14 gram bag and already Pulling that seal off, I'm getting a little bit of a, of a gassy funk. But once we open up this bag, whoo, it just fills the room. Really nice cherry aroma coming off of this. The bud size and structure is exactly what I'd be looking for coming from the loud plug. Just a nice, even distribution of bud size. A good crystal coating in there. The Boast Integra humidity pack as well like a very nice looking bag and you can see there's a little bit of some varying color in there but that is just from different portions of the same plant oh the nose on this is absolutely fantastic it's got kind of a uh, cherry jam experience to it and i'm liking it a lot and when we pour it out onto the tray any of these smaller buds are apparent to have just broken off some of the larger buds in this bag. So far, we're leaning on a potential 9 out of a 10 for the look and aroma. There's a slight chance it could push to the 10, but the explosive aroma would really have to pop heavily once it's ground. But we're going to go take some pictures of this beautiful bud before we come back and smoke our way through this 14 gram review. Hey all, so we are grinding up the smaller buds and the aromatic explosion that I'm getting. Like it is a combination of that kind of diesel hint and fuel kind of aroma you get at a gas station where it's just kind of lingering there. It's not really potent. <coughs> uh, but at the same time, there's a really nice and hearty mulled cherry like um just super rich hearty cherry aroma and once it's ground up it's got a immense cherry pop a fantastic grind like absolutely that kinetic sand that i love um, rolling with packing into my bongs like it just a fantastic come on focus on the focus on the grind focus on the grind not on my head there you go, really nice kinetic sand look to it. And just a power, power play of that cherry aroma. 
I'm going to give this a 9 out of a 10, and it's mainly because that cherry aroma is explosive. It's impressive. It's amazing. But it just doesn't excite me as much as I've had some of the orange, some of the um, a little bit more dessert-style experiences. Where this has got a little bit more of that like hearty, heavy wine kind of experience. I think this is going to score better when I'm tasting it and not so much the way I'm smelling it. I really do think that this has a lot of potential to score highly throughout this review, but the look and aroma, as exciting as it is, it's not one of those ones that makes me, oh, I cannot wait to smoke this. This makes me want to sit here and kind of decipher what's going on before I start smoking it. And that, to me, makes a difference between a 9 and a 10. A 10 is, I can't wait to pack up a bowl and I'm going to smoke it. A 9 is, I want to sit here and investigate these aromas. Hey guys, while I'm rolling up this joint, I'm going to take you guys through exactly how we're going to be smoking the Dynavap Vaporizer. I'm looking forward to seeing what this genetic has to offer in the three different stages of uh, flavor and overall experience that we'll have to enjoy through the Dynavap Vaporizer. Now, the first offering and overall flavor experience that you get is going to be what I like to call the candied or just the overall fullest flavor that you're going to get through this genetic. The reason for that is all of the terpenes that we were able to smell and pick up during the look and aroma portion of this review, we're gonna actually be able to enjoy all of those finer, little bit lesser dominant terpenes, as well as the ones that are a little bit more sensitive to the heat are gonna be playing a factor, you guys. So when we go ahead and heat this up the first time through, we're gonna get a really sweet candied or intensive palate coating experience. It's gonna be very full, rich, and enjoyable offering from this genetic. but. The second time through is going to be very similar to that without the depth to the flavor. And what I mean by that is all of those finer notes and a little bit of the um, lower quantity terpenes are going to have either vaporized completely off or the temperature has exceeded where they have their optimal range. So they're not really going to be present for the profile that uh, we're experiencing that second time through. Now, when we go ahead and we heat it up the third time, we're going to be chasing a dragon in the carefuline style flavor. That wood and pepper really dominates that third heat cycle, and it's just because carefuline has such a high boiling and vaporization point where it's definitely going to be playing a factor at the higher side of the uh, temperature when we get to that third heat cycle. But if this genetic has a really terpy and intensive experience, on another flavor profile, it can definitely make itself present and known in that third offering and really change up what we have to experience. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the potential is from this genetic, but we're gonna give you guys back to the core video of this review and uh, my suspicions of how this Dynavap is gonna taste because I've got that joint rolled up, now it's time to smoke this. I'll see you guys over there. Welcome back everyone. We're going to go ahead and take this Cherry Diesel from the Loud Plug through its first runs with our Dynavap Vaporizer. Ooh, we are having issues getting this torch started, but what we're going to do is we're going to hold it just out of reach that blue flame, rotate it 360 degrees so we get nice even heat distribution throughout this Dynavap. And once we do hear that second click, it lets us know we're at temperature. Then once we hear those clicks again, it lets us know it's ready for the reheat cycle. Let's see what the first offering has to say. Really nice cherry fruit flavored experience. To be honest, I wasn't expecting a whole lot of uh, flavor with that initial expression just because typically cherry and gassy aromas aren't that uh, present until we run it through the second time. But I'm getting a very heavy and hearty cherry shortcake kind of offering from this so far. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's see what the second temperature setting has to say.
a little bit more intensive. You definitely get the wood focused flavor off of there, but there's a intensive cherry syrup kind of experience that uh, sits at the back of your tongue and the back of your throat that's really, really nice. Now, let's see what the third and final experience has to say. Definitely more weight. It definitely has a little bit more of that cough syrup kind of cherry, that cough syrup kind of cherry. Just because it is a lot more of a tart flavor, a lot less of that sweet kind of fruity offering. But overall, a really nice balance and blend through the vaporizer. Smooth from start to finish. The flavor profile is quite nice. I do think that this is going to be something that will be interesting to see how it vapes through the air riser vaporizers and some of the other dry herb vaporizers that I use and just see how it holds up. But overall, an 8 out of a 10 is a fair score for the vaporizer. It definitely has some major potential there, but within the Dynavap, it just didn't have the explosive flavor and aroma that I was really really looking forward to that I think the bongs will be able to offer so an 8 out of a 10 to follow up that 9 out of a 10 for look and aroma and now we'll get our introduction to the bong in here and start diving our way through those three fat reps cheers welcome back you guys and uh that Dynavap did quite well I'm hoping but it's time for me to give you the little bit of the intro to our bongs. So we've got three beautiful rigs here that are ready to go, and I'm really excited to dive into it with you guys. First and foremost, we've got our MV straight pipe. Now, this beautiful rig, we're gonna go ahead and light up with our raw, not our, yeah, it is, it is our raw hemp wick. We're gonna light it up with the hemp wick because this is going to be a non-fuel driven experience for us to enjoy. And what I mean by that is since we use a clipper lighter and a jet lighter for the other two bowls, this hemp wick, we're actually going to have to light it up with one of those sources and draw it off the wick itself. As you guys can see, it doesn't hold up all that well in comparison to the clipper or the jet lighter. As well, it's going to provide a very different temperature to the bud in this bowl. It's going to give us a really nice, rich, vapor style experience at the start because the heat hasn't penetrated completely into the bowl so it's a really nice light wispy um humid flavor that we get to experience and then as we get deeper and to the end stages of the bowl we get a lot more of a hashy rich um hearty flavor offered up from the uh actual bud itself and the reason for that is the temperature and the time that it takes for this burn to uh, hit that optimal cherry before it snaps down into the reservoir. Overall, you guys, I really enjoy this experience, but it's gonna be a transitional style flavor where it starts that light, wispy experience before moving over into a really heavy and hearty offering. There's some genetics who absolutely love being smoked that way, and there's other ones who need a little bit more of an intensity. The next step up for us with the intensity is going to be our nice glass beaker bong and the clipper lighter. This is going to be a standard method of consumption. And what I mean by that is most of you guys are just going to use a clipper or Bic lighter to light up your bowls and snap them down and away. So we uh, absolutely have to contribute that portion of the community into the reviews when we're making our um, breakdown and experiences with these genetics. I'm making a bunch of noise, you guys, but we have our Red Eye Tech, Red Eye Tech Cyclone here. We're going to go ahead and hit that with the Jet Lighter. The reason we use our Jet Lighter instead of the Clipper is because this is going to drive that flame deep into the bowl, and it's going to cause a very intensive and rich flavor at the beginning of the uh, smoking session. Now, well, not smoking session, but smoking that particular bowl. Now, there's some genetics who definitely benefit from that, and there's others who don't. We're uh, going to see today whether this one is one of those ones because you uh, usually have a leaning towards whether it likes the intensity and that full deliverance of the flavor and 
um, high in a single burst of high heat or it needs a little bit more of a build like the Envy straight pipe has to offer you guys. I've got this rig packed up. Let's uh, clip back into the main video and uh, get you guys rocking with our three bong grips. Cheers, and I'll see you over there. Hey all, let's go ahead and spark up the first of these three bong grips. Looking forward to seeing how this cherry diesel tastes via the Envy straight pipe and then the Castle Glass Beaker bong and our Red Eye Tech Cyclone. Cheers. Hey all, let's go ahead and dive into our second bong rip via the new Castle Glass Beaker Bong. I'm loving smoking out of this new rig. But for now, cheers, let's dive in. Hey all, time for that third and final bong rip, cheers. <laughs> not harsh but heavy i'm gonna give it a second let my lungs settle hey all so taste from a bong will earn itself a nine out of a ten i found an intensive cherry experience at every single bong rip that final one was a little bit more intensive than i was ready for but it wasn't harsh by any means it's really just one that you need to be prepared for when you're lighting it up with the jet lighter. I got a little bit more so of that medicinal like Benadryl cherry-esque experience at the end with the jet, but it's not a bad offering. It's just a nice variety of that fruity flavored cherry experience at the beginning to a little bit more of that medicinal flavoring to that cherry experience. But now we're going to get our introduction to a pipe in here before we spark this up and see how this will do. Cheers, and let's dive into it. Hey guys, we're going to quickly break down how this genius pipe works and exactly what's so special about it. Now, the very unique aspect to this genius pipe is the ability for it to be broken apart and cleaned between each and every use. So with this, when uh, we're done smoking this bowl what we're going to do is we're going to spread it apart we're going to take an iso alcohol wipe and we're going to clean this completely off now as you guys can see when i bring this nice and close there's going to be ribs all through here these nice little divots similar to what you see on a golf ball now what happens is when these two pieces are placed together like so with those four magnets what you end up having is a dimpled experience rolling all throughout that that smoke actually cycles its way through cleaning and almost uh, cooling the smoke well it's not almost cooling the smoke it is actually cooling the smoke as it passes through and then you get a really nice clean draw very similar to the cooling and cleaning experience that the bong has to offer but no water filtration to play a factor for the flavor the other convenient portion of this is the ability to pre-pack your bowl and actually cover it up stick it in your pocket for a smoke a little later i really want to thank the folks over at canada reps for hooking me up with this after winning third place at their collector's cup in edmonton in uh, 2022 i'm really impressed with the quality of this pipe and i'm looking forward to smoking with it through this review and many others but with that being said you guys let's get back to this bud review hey y'all taste from a pipe is going to earn itself a seven out of a ten i am honest that uh, pipes are not my typical method of consumption and i usually don't get the best experience from them for me this was just a little bit too heavy and intensive through the pipe it didn't really have that cherry flavor that i've come really accustomed to with this genetic because i found it all the way through the vaporizer and I found it all the way through the bongs this time I got a really heavy 
earthy and gas based experience coming from this which isn't a bad experience at all it's just something a little bit different than what it, i am accustomed to with this genetic so far but we're going to burn the tip off of this joint that i've rolled up take a couple dry hauls see what it tastes like with that before we spark it up and smoke our way through it Mm, the cherry shortcake is 1,000% the flavor I get off of this. Let's spark it up and see exactly what it's going to taste like when it's burning. Cheers. Hey, all. So, taste from a joint is going to earn itself a 7 out of a 10. The overall experience is quite pleasant, but I am finding that this genetic may not be the best for joint or pipe consumption and my palate. I do like the really sweet and fruity offering that the bongs and the vaporizer had to offer and i do think that that will be my primary method of consumption for this genetic but that's my primary method of consumption for every genetic is via the bong so i'm really excited to continue to smoke this 14 gram through there i actually would be really interested to see how this would press out and provide some rosin as well so that may be what we do with some of this bud as well Overall, the experience is really nice, and I'm actually quite happy with the end result. The high is absolutely going to be scoring quite well with a 9 out of a 10. It is very relaxing and easing for me. Like This would be the perfect experience for me to be smoking while I'm watching a movie before I go to bed, as well as for when I'm just needing that little bit more body-heavy relief and cerebral relaxation on top of it. So overall... <clears throat> A very pleasant and enjoyable experience from start to finish. I love the look of the bud. I love the way that it just fills the room with its aroma once you do crack that bag open. And when the bud's ground, it has an even nicer smell to it. But with that being said, it earns the 49 out of 60 and absolutely deserves the beautiful herbage that it will be receiving. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback and seeing what you all have to say about the Cherry G Diesel from the Loud Plug. But for now, cheers, y'all. I will see you in the next one. I'm really looking forward to what we have in store for you all next week. Up in the corner is giving me my logo. You want to hover over that, click that bell notification after you subscribe so you can get notified anytime one of my videos go live. Down below, we have two videos for you. One's going to be the most recommended. The other one's going to be the most recently uploaded. Please click on either of those or anything else that I have to offer under right of the leaf. But for now, like, share, and comment on this video to help push it into the algorithm and continue the channel's growth. But for now, cheers, y'all. I will see you in the next one.